Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World and welcome to my let's play of Endless Space 2. So it's time to do the quest where we give some money to the cartographer in order to find out what Siga Goya is. So we are here at Forest and we just have to go to this Oraga one. And we get 60 dust. And we discovered the planet Sugagoya. This lushly forested world was once a major center of the Endless. Oddly, it was a center both of medical research and of entertainment, for it was here that the avian race, race called the Hishu were first modified to be more effective warriors, and then trained to be, provide blood sport spectacles for bored audiences. The wealth brought by the broadcasts was rolled back into the research facilities and some to the Hishu themselves. Who knows how long this media symbiosis might have gone on, had a virtual attack not destroyed the infrastructure and cut the Hisho free to forge their own destiny. Alright, we got 100 Dasidious trees, as well as the location. So where is it? It's all over here in Cassiopeia, I guess. Tsukagoya. Good food production, good science production. Outstanding science production right there. Plus 12 food per person, plus 7 science, but not so much happiness. This is interesting though. Um, I'm wondering whether it would be worth it to send my Argosy there. I think I'll first find out how to get there though. Oh, <laughs> we took the long way, um, potentially. So, okay, perfect. Uh, let's do this. And then I guess well, we could potentially sell these deciduous trees. They might be worth a lot. They're only worth eight, so not worth so much. But because we're building so much stuff here, I'm wondering if it's kind of worth it to buy out a couple of things. Because this is getting, getting really slow. In one turn we'll have another population. What I could do is now I could send some to Kamos here. But for that Kamos also needs a portal. Um, and we here also need a portal. I'll buy that one out. And now we have the movement bonus. As you can see, uh, we have these uh, lines here. Uh, now the problem is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> he will be taking all those turns to go exactly right next to it, which is a bit of a shame, but well, that's my own fault. Um, all right, so we've got here Baramaxa. Baramaxa extra production is always nice more deposit on resource deposits that's also good plus influence this i might go with i like the resource production as well but i think influence here is now pretty nice that gives us plus 12 influence now and then once we don't have the minus anymore then we might be able to get a little bit um, a decent production going on. At least as far as I know, we still have those 10 turns of minus, even though it doesn't say here. Go on protect. All right, here we have a portal. And at Kamos, we have a portal in two turns, which I might buy out now. Mm. 
Yeah, I already built this one, so it's definitely worth sending some people this way. But Gobris is not doing anything. What should we do on Gobris? Well, maybe we should colonize a bit more because we're full here. We're content only. And we have luxury deposits, so we could make ourselves a little bit more happy. But in general, the planets are just not making us very happy. And this will not help with that, because it's minus three per. Colonial rights would help. Again, plus ten. And this would give plus ten as well. Hmm... potentially send some sisters of mercy here once we've colonized this arctic one which would give us plus two per maybe worth it but this is really full already so and this gives us a lot of science so i'll definitely colonize this how are we doing here we're still devoted The only problem is that we're very slow at building stuff. And none of these really work very well for us. Could do industrial zones. No, that only works on hot, not on cold. I could terraform into Arctic, but that would reduce my science by quite a bit. I think I'll have to find other ways of doing that. Yay, we're amicable. Now we'll get more science. All right, so let's have a look at Cetus here. We found Oriel Kicks, nice. And we found Hydromiel. And Oriel Kicks is right here on the medium desert. It's not a bad place with all these good anomalies here. Planets are small and medium, which is a bit of a shame. Might still be worth colonizing though. How is this here going? Yay, I'm the sovereign. I still can't talk to them though, but they like me. That's good. So let us send some people to Camos now because they are in need of a lot of production in order to get this kickstarted a little bit. So which one is this? This does a lot of food and happiness and this one gives us production. They're both very nice. Mm. Also the, anom the deposit also gives us extra production, but it gives us a ton of less happiness. Lots and lots of less happiness. So maybe I'll go for this one first. Um, and we could also turn off the seismic activity, it gives us less science, but it gets rid of some of the happiness problem. We're still ecstatic though. But we still have the golden age on as well. I'm thinking that might be good. Um, and then I want to bring some people over here. So what do we have? I would say Sisters of Mercy are probably good to do. Because here we have good amount of happiness anyway.
Don't I have more? Here. Oh, we already filled it up. All right, we go to Camos. Confirm, and then they should instantly arrive, which is nice. And then we have in one turn again another person. So this is going quite quickly, which is really nice. Perfect. Definitely going to sell a little bit of strategics. Ooh, 37 apiece. Give us 1.5k if I sell so many. 11, 33, 33, maybe I can sell 10 of this. 160, oh yeah, okay, that's a good money maker. And we are very good at making a lot. So I am thinking it will be worth to colonize that place then. Um, you can come here. Actually stay there for now. And then once this is at 15, we go there. That's it. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, what should you do? You can see... Here. Maybe there's something good here. New event, church and state. You are pleased, but not entirely surprised, to discover that one of your colonies has this developed a fringe religion in which this central deity is you. Though small, it has already drawn a following. One of their more charismatic leaders has publicly asked if you would bless them with an appearance in the inauguration of their newest cathedral. Meanwhile, others in that system are watching to see what your response will be. I'll definitely go for decline. Sorry, we're scientists here. Mixing religions and politics is a bad idea. Bad, bad idea. To ensure your empire stays on the proper path, you must decline. You want an empire that looks outwards at the wonders of the universe, not inwards at its own navel. Gobris. That's a bit of a shame because they're not <laughs> making that much science yet. Although they do have very good planets for science, so that's, that's very lucky. Nice. Um, I could kickstart this one a bit, but actually I'm more interested now in getting Kamos here done. Oh, they both have the minus eight, of course. Um, four, four, five, three, eight, three, seven. This one's better. We're ecstatic now, though. Yeah, I shouldn't have sold my antimatter, of course. That was stupid. How's our food situation? It's still quite okay. I'm really wondering, maybe I should go for, for this one here now. And by that time we can maybe send already a new amount of people. Because in three turns we basically have it full again already. You've discovered the planet Vanguard, home of the Rivborn. Yeah, they are expanding like crazy. But that's okay, hopefully. Alright, we should support the scientists. Ah, oh, that seems to be going fine still. And the ecologists are still there, so now we've got cool copies. No. Quite okay, but not what we're looking for. All right, now we could upgrade the Argosy, mm, as well as make this F Reality Institute, which is awesome. But then the question is, what will we do? <laughs> we can go for the Genius of the Endless already. How much does that cost, actually? 39 turns. We definitely need way more science for that. 
which we're working on uh, once we build all these buildings. Uh, we've been a bit slow with that. So the question is, what do we want, though? More happiness? This well-being foundation might be very much worth it. We can also expand more then, although we don't really need that yet. Or exploit this Oriel Kicks that we will do soon. Also gives us more industry if we want to. Um, I'm thinking the happiness might be worth it though. Plus 25, that's quite a bit. Maybe we should do that one first because we won't really be... Oh no, that might actually fit to first do the Oriel Kicks one. Hey, what are you doing here? Go away. More influence, yes. Then hopefully we can make a science pact soonish with the rift or maybe we can already, but the Some things in this cosmos we have come to We don't really have any pressure on them. One of them. What do you want? Well, now at least I can say give them some options that they might like. Yeah, it's uh I could potentially do it, but it would cost me a lot of influence. Tikal. Yeah, you're my most problematic colony, aren't you? So in three turns we'll have more population. Thinking of just going for this one here. Costs only four turns to create. Then I'll just turn this completely into a science colony in not even that many turns. And in the meantime, they can kind of grow a little bit. And we have seven and a half production per turn. That's not too bad. Would be nice if it was a bit more, but no complaints. All right, we kept Tackle safe. Now we've got 60 extra Transvine. But there is a battle. Not too happy about that. Um, Where are you? You're here. Whoa. Hey, what? I just retreated. That's not fair. All right, we'll have to kick their ass. Um, but I'm already producing so much, <laughs> so the ass kicking has to wait a little bit. I think we'll get a lot of influence soon though that's gonna be nice I could already maybe send some people now again to Camos here yeah let's do that Maybe just some some volters. Three enough? Yeah, three should be enough. A 
11 people. This looks good. And we're decently happy, but not perfectly happy yet. But again, well, it seems like we'll just have to wait for a little bit for those things. Um, Because I do think this enables exploitation of Oriel Kicks will be nice because then basically we can immediately colonize this with the Oriel Kicks and um, get our income which we can sell for a lot. So and also potentially use it in a... How much do we still need for the next level? Did we already unlock it? We didn't yet. But that would be a very nice one. Yeah, we can now do this one because we have um, the science law. So we do need to research a little bit more here. Um, extra production would be nice because then we can later turn that into science. You know, potentially trade companies could be worth it, but... This one is nice, microwave pipes. Also good, if we go for trading companies. And that's just going for money. Thinking of going for this one. More production, eventually more science. And that's our end goal. <laughs> Almost there. Nicely regenerating our population already again. Camas is done though. Mm. We're just content, but let us... Now we have minus food, that's not good. Uh, cold, hot planet. Plus two per person on planets, that's good. Let's immediately do it like this, otherwise we're gonna lose people. Something we definitely don't want. Now maybe we should also take this one, it only takes one turn to make, so then we have at least a lot of food, which will be good. Then though, mm, this would be nice to make more money. But science would be nice for our goals. Uh, six turns. We're not really happy yet. Okay, let's first take this one and then... Something like this. Almost at the next Golden Age duration and then I'll colonize Cedars here. Oh man, this stuff costs so much. Competitive quest started. Produce the most industry in the galaxy. Well, that might be difficult, but we'll see. Argosy is now fully ready, then can colonize freely without any additional cost. Cares a little for Ooh, the hello there. Of other race. Um, yeah, so we can colonize freely, then we don't have to spend any resources, but we still wouldn't get our full um, golden age, so. I don't think I will yet. Hmm. Population lost on Gobris. We also need food, huh?
All right, let's make some food immediately. New event, the Quantitative Society. A cabal of scientists and visionaries from a prominent research group, Think Tank, have come forward to your government promising to deliver a dream of a utopian society. They've created a vast super AI that can watch and learn from all and believe that all will benefit from its scrutiny. Like many who have come up with ideas to fix society, their dream is riddled with their own biases and hang-ups, including believing that life isn't worth living without a dependable chain of caffeine bars featuring semi-designer furnishings and exotic mood music. The fact that their vision of a perfect society also involves mandatory science fun means that although your citizens will become more rational, they won't be as pliant. A more popular, less scientifically beneficial move would be to ignore them. More science, less influence. Of course, we embrace everything sciencey. They might be over trendy, but the visionaries have a point. An invasive, pervasive monitoring system run by an AI supermind is a small price to pay for a boost to science. I completely agree. And our heroes level up. Plus 15 science and system. Or more deposit value. Uh, you are... Were you on Cobras? Yes. People are very unhappy here. I kind of want to have the science first, but let us try to make people a little bit more happy. Because we need to have our average here. Uh, it's only content now, so we get less of a science bonus. So actually... In... 10 turns we'll have this, so it's still a while. Although my science will be going up fairly shortly because of this here, but it will still take a while as well. Make more of that. There's my antimatter here. This one here should also have a slag and sludge center. Next turn I can make another better system. New event, bumper crop. You've read the reports and it looks like luxury resource generation across all your system is exceeding expectation this year. You can anticipate response from your advisors though. The industrialists will advise you to quietly shore up the empire's economy with the extra goods while the religious contingent will want you to make a big show of thanking the gods for the bountiful harvest. Ooh, look at this. Definitely plus two resource generation on strategic resource deposit. And then in two turns we'll colonize this, or maybe we should already then, to just make more money basically. Um, then one turn we'll do that, because then we can actually exploit this. How are you? You should be there, yes. Improve plasmal shielding. We get Giga Lattice, more influence. Hostile fauna is not good. <laughs> okay, so it's not that great of a system, even though this is really quite nice, but I don't think I'll go for that. Maybe you can just start exploring. All right, crust engineering is done. So that means that we can go for this one here. Ooh, medium desert. Yeah, 
Here we come. Alright, so. Extra production, extra everything. Um. Make more Oreal kicks. Uh, it's too expensive to buy out. Also too expensive. Then we'll just go for Cerebral and Drone Networks. And I will sell some stuff because I have a lot. So we have... Ooh, this is worth a lot here. 3.5k, look at that. This is not worth so much. This is worth a lot, but we're not producing enough yet. Um, cool, so now we can buy out this and then we should start. Mm, I could supply some if we make a portal, which we can't yet because we need five titanium, which I just sold. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's enough reason to build that here. Which we could also just do this. Nice, perfect. Oh, we can also do that. Mm. But then, better system level. <laughs> All these things get done this turn. And then maybe we should colonize already. Because I will be sending people this way. So this is Cetus. But if next turn we'll make a, um, a portal there. Alright, you're done. That's good. So what about more deposit value or just happiness? We are happy, but not super happy. So I'll go for the happiness in order to bring up the galactic average a little bit. Because we are struggling in that respect a little bit. So in a couple of turns we'll have this, which should help by quite a bit. Then it might be worth to sell a lot of um, resources in order to build that building everywhere. So let's send stuff to see this. because Cetus doesn't have its portal yet. But that should arrive fairly soon, so maybe that's fine. I want my science! And now we already have 12 Oreal kicks, so this is going really well. And this will be really great to get there. Because now if we would just sell this 12 Oriel kicks. We'd be making 1.3k already. How is it going here? Content. 
colonial rights are getting there slowly. Mm. Where will we have in most people? Here I think I already have a level 3, don't I? Yes. So I think maybe Camos will be the best one for this. This is not worth so much. Titanium is just worth a lot. This one I want to save up a bit, but here we can definitely sell a little bit from. And we've got 6k. Yeah, let's buy this one out and then hopefully our science will go up enough in order to make a bit of a difference. Not here. Angry, give us dust now. No, you won't. You won't get any dust. Refuse. Alright, you're done. One turn, one turn, three turns for the cultural stuff. Ah, can't wait. And that turn, I guess, will sell all our Oreal cakes and hopefully buy it out somewhere. Although it might be a quite expensive building. New event, tete a -tete. Adana, a major industrial hub for your empire, is holding a fancy summit for industrial leaders and politicians to mingle and talk business. Away from the scrutiny of the public eye. This year, ecological groups have organized a massive protest condemning the su summit as a secretive way to pass elitist and eco-unfriendly laws. Um, less production. Ay, 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 ay. I don't like this. More happiness. That's definitely good. Um, less production is definitely not good, but we'll still go for this. Argus is ready. Our purpose is to kill you, the... Now at least we're ecstatic here again. What we could do is we're now loyal. We could abolish this law. It will reduce our science by quite a bit. But now we're devoted again. So then we get plus 30% science again. So that might be worth to do. I'm wondering. Um, there's all my other faction quests. It's that one, Geological Vault. Here, this one, yes. Which will be awesome here. But that's still a while. So many things to choose from. I always have trouble doing that. I'll save up the money a little bit so that we can build these happiness houses. Even though now with 
without that law we don't need it as much anymore but then we could reinstate that law which would be really nice because we do want to have as much science as possible all right now we've got it Our purpose is to kill. come on okay they are threatening a lot I wonder if we can we are coming Oh no, they can't be at peace, of course, because they're cravers. Um. Could go for boarding pots and then putting them on some support chips. Was only one turn, two turns. Might not be a bad idea, because then if we kill them, we basically get some of their ships, because I don't really want to spend a lot of turns making ships. All right, we've leveled up. Yeah, you can make more stuff. You are Craver. Uh -huh. Let's kill that one. He's probably not going to be happy about it, but... I'm happy to not attack you. Pirate mark placed on a Dana. Huh. <laughs> we will always talk if you Here they come. Not good for me. Mm, they still need a little bit of time to get here. So then I can first wait until this is done, and then I can make myself a lot of ships. So let's do that. I'll bring this one here, though. Alright, so now let's have a look at these ones here. Um, or should we do it with the carve here? Probably best idea. So do this and this. Mm. Well, we don't really need much movement points. So maybe just health. Bonus is good, but then I first need to see what they are having as attacks. They're using mostly projectiles. So then I could put in some Let's do this one then. Oh. Uh, Perfect, and then we can create probably quite a lot of them. Well, that's fairly expensive. How long do we have? Probably still a while. And you're going there. In the meantime, here in Gobris, we'll make this well-being center. Ooh, that's a very expensive thing. 27 turns as well. Let's start with... A 
uh, we already did that here. Where will we have more people next? Maybe here. And I'll... What I could do is... Also create some ships here. And portal them. So I'll create one here. Ah, we don't have any production. Cetus, what are we going to do in Cetus? Well, we have not so much food. But here we could get a lot of food. Yeah, what to do then? Eternal question. Maybe just create more Oriel Kicks? To start with. We already have 51. Yeah, they're pretty slow. That's good. Although my cap is, of course, super low as well. Um, then I can have a couple of more ships in a in my army. New event, a natural wastelands. An undercover documentary concerning a makeshift community who live in one of your planet's biggest refuse facilities has become a loaded political issue. Many are scraping a living in the system's dumps, scavenging for recycled materials while setting up their homes in the very same places. Amenities have followed and these places are now lively if polluted and dangerous hubs. Environmental groups demand that action is taken, that industries need to manage their resources better and fuel these communities. Others suggest going even further and monetizing these places more effectively. In essence, they advocate greater ties between industry and refuse sites. Refuse sites. Ah, uh, this is painful. Painful, painful. Still will go for it though. We don't want to have these dumps here. And the Riftborn are doing pretty well. Much better than we are probably. They need to own 22. Oh, they're really <laughs> going quite quick. Whoa, you've got dust? Hey, let's talk. <laughs> I'm thinking of putting a pirate mark on this one here. And then we'll probably have to start bothering them a little bit if we want to stop them from winning. So once we have our army ready, which actually... One turn, this one will be ready. We'll create a couple more. Wondering if that's enough. Yeah, let's create a couple more. out of seven merch here we go and we'll defend maybe I should have also put some support ships in there but let's hope we're doing well
They don't have that strong ships, luckily, so... The science is going quite well. I think after we've done this, it might be worth to just go for, well, probably this one first and then Planet Crackers. If we had a fertile planet, I might have done it because the growth here is absolutely terrible. Alright, now they're probably going to attack me. No? Yes, you are. Alright, let's go to advanced. We will take the hull plating one and we'll all go together. Oh, they only have two. Not worth watching, probably. We took them though, that's good. Now we have another one. Again, well, probably not worth watching either. Again, and now probably another battle. No? Well, I can fight you. Perfect. All right, so now we've got quite some ships here. All these pirates. So what we'll probably do is just discard them. Um, so I could sell them for 258, but I'm thinking of using them to annoy the Riftborn. Maybe just stay there first. Because once you're there, I'm going to turn you into privateers. I can already do that. And woohoo! Let's see if our. First I wanted to make peace with them, but if they're kind of on their way to victory, then I might not necessarily want to have peace with them. Alright, more production, that's good. Um, we need one more. I think I'll go for the microwave pipes. There's been a noticeably increased birth rate in one of your systems of your empire, Chaos, that identifies as militarist and scientific. The trend is particularly strong among the Harishim. Why? Your advisor says it's a cultural response to the instability of galactic warfare, while a leading analyst claims it's a reaction to the prosperity of peace. Perhaps no one really knows. All right, get some more people on Chaos. And the Riftborn are better at producing stuff than we are. Well, that's no surprise, really. I hope we can do something about them, though. Uh, here, we can do something with you. What can we do? More food. More influence. Maybe just more resource deposit value. 
And then I might actually move him here though, because now he's here at Adana, making basically just titanium. But if we would put him here, we would make a lot of Oriel kicks instead. Or potentially here at Gobris, but we already have that lady there. So confirm, and now we should make more Oriel kicks, which will be very nice. So in the meantime, our food here is pretty good. So what we could do is send more people from Adana again. Maybe some of these, they're not that useful. I should evict them into space, but I won't. So they go to see this, which is perfect. Now we have this little army here. We also to send them here. All right, the episode has been going on for quite a while. I'll put the episode to a close here, but I hope you had fun and see you next time.